morning or evening or afternoon, whatever time you're watching this, it is morning for me. And I am going to do like a test trial on daily vlogs. I wanna start providing more content for you guys. So today I have a couple things that I have to do and a couple cool places that I'm gonna go or at least like one cool place that I'm going. Um, so I figured I would kind of like bring you guys along and just kind of like see how they go, see how you guys like them. So today I'm going to Grove Surf and Coffee Shop. Um, it's on St. Pete Beach and it's really cool. It's, um, I'm looking at their Instagram right now. It's not new, it's been there for a little bit, but I've just never been there because it's a little bit far from my house, but they're like a boutique and a coffee shop. So I don't know. And they make all these like really cool like drinks. So, and they do like seasonal stuff. Um, like they do like Valentine's Day things. They're super, super cool. So if you're ever in St. Pete Beach, definitely go check them out or wait until I go there and I can give you a full review and then go and check them out if it's good. Um, but I'm just getting ready right now. I'm not gonna do anything special. I'm just gonna wear my t-shirt um, and put some mascara on and maybe brush my hair because it's been a few days. Okay, so I put a little tiny bit of mascara on. I brushed my hair. So I'd say this is like a decent enough look for a coffee shop. I'm just wearing biker shorts. I'm so short, like no mirrors works for me unless it's like a, a full length one um and probably just some chucks so let's go okay so i'm actually gonna go to my mom's house first and then we're gonna go to the coffee shop together it's still spring break here in florida i feel like spring break is like for freaking months here um so we're a little worried about parking but i'm hoping maybe it'll be okay because it's a wednesday morning but I don't know. I feel like there's so many people down here right now. It's absolutely insane. And then I forgot to also mention that tonight I have to go to my sister-in-law's birthday dinner um, at this Italian restaurant in Hyde Park. So I'm going to show you guys that restaurant as well. I've never been there. So lots of new food restaurant places for me today. So I'm excited to bring you guys along and I hope you enjoy. The beach wasn't actually that crowded yet, surprisingly, but I'm sure it is now <laughs> since it's later in the day. But the coffee shop was really good. They don't have like a bunch of food items. It was mainly just like pastries. Um, so I just got like a piece of coffee cake, but it was really good. And then I got some sort of cinnamon ice latte thing. And if you eat there, they'll put it in these cute little glasses. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then the shops inside were also, or the shop inside, they had so much stuff in there. And it was cool to have like, I feel like all the beach stores around here are like t-shirts, you know, like super touristy, but this um, shop had like cute stuff like Billabong, Ruvka, like normal clothing. So it was, it was really cute. I recommend going there and just checking it out. I think I'm just going to go home now, maybe eat something else because I'm still a little bit hungry and then uh, do like a little workout or something. And then I'll work on getting myself ready for dinner tonight. Also, I just looked and I didn't even film the inside of the coffee shop. I thought that I did, but I only filmed the outside, so. This is my first time doing this, so give me a break. I'm so sorry. I'll have to go back another time and show you guys. 
Okay, I worked out. I use a Peloton to work out, so I haven't been to the gym in like probably four years, but I got the Peloton like two years ago and I love it. Um, I obviously use it for like the cycling, but they also have like floor workouts, so I can pretty much do anything. They do like yoga, Pilates, strength training, HIIT workouts, so I just normally use that for working out. And then I took a shower and redid my makeup. I still need to do mascara for some reason. I like always do mascara last. I don't really know why, but that's just how I roll. And then now I'm doing my hair. Um, I like my hair to look like it's like fallen. I don't really like like super tight curls. So I like to do it a little bit earlier in the day so that it has time to sort of like settle and fall. Um, cause from, same thing with my makeup. For some reason, I like doing it early because then it kind of like melts into your face throughout the day. So for the curling, I have a T3 wand, which I've had for a few years now. I bought the one that has like the interchangeable like little head things. And this is just like the thickest one that they have. And this is how I've curled my hair for years. And then <laughs> the robe that I'm wearing is actually from the Don Cesar Spa. If you don't know what the Don Cesar is, it's actually a historic hotel in Florida. My dog decided to come join the party. And it's like this like iconic pink building on St. Pete Beach and I think I'm actually going there next week so I might show you guys it. I'm not staying there but I can show you the outside of it and like the beach part because it's on the beach. But I went to the Don Cesar Spa for my bachelorette party and like this is where that rope is from. Um, you can't even like see the logo because it's so big on me but it's really comfy. And it's a really really cool hotel. I don't know like too much about it because I've never stayed there before but I've used a lot of their amenities. I've eaten there, gone to the beach there. It used to be hospital for people in World War II or something like that. I don't know, don't quote me on that. There's some sort of like cool history behind the hotel. They say it's haunted if you're into that stuff, but I don't know. It's a, it's just a very well known hotel in St. Pete Beach. So if you're ever in this area, I recommend checking it out and maybe staying there. I don't know, I've never stayed there before, but I've never heard anything bad about it. So it's pretty cool. But I'm gonna finish doing my hair put mascara on, get dressed. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing and then we are gonna go to dinner. Okay, here is final makeup and hair look. I wanna show you guys this dress that I got from Zara, but I unfortunately can't link it because I bought it back in September. So I'm sorry, maybe you can find it on Poshmark. And my shoes are also from Zara, but I bought those like two years ago, so. Sorry, not the best like try on haul, but let's see if I can show you this better. The lighting in here is not great, but this is the dress and these are the shoes. I also painted my toes yellow <laughs> and I don't think that was a very good idea, but we're just gonna roll with it anyways. <laughs> we are on our way to Tampa. Hyde Park specifically. I looked up the name of the restaurant again. It's called Forbici. I might be completely mutilating that name because I am not Italian, but this is the logo. And I looked up the uh, food on Yelp and it yeah. looks really good. So I'm excited to try it. Because I'm hungry. Me too, I'm starving. Also, Tampa traffic is at its prime right now. It's gonna take us an extra probably like 20 minutes than it normally does just to, to get there. So wish us luck. Today. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if I should keep doing these.